Okay, so getting into our ratio model practice, you're going to count the total number of squares. So in the picture that's in your notes, there are 14 squares total. So the first one, the first ratio that we're going to write is squares to triangles. So that would be 14 uh, squares to, there are two, four, six triangles. Um, and we're going to also simplify this so it's in simplified form. So I'm going to write it as a fraction. You always leave whatever number comes first as your numerator. Don't switch it around. And then let's simplify it as low as we can. So I know they're both even. So I'm going to divide by 2. So 2 can go into 14 7 times and 2 can go into 6 3 times. So then my written form would be 7 two, three, and then my odds notation seven colon three, and then my fraction seven over three. So that's for the first one. That's what you, you would have right here. Um, the triangles to total shapes. Well, we know that the triangles are, what did we say? Six. So triangles are six, two, and then the total would be, well, 14 um, squares plus six triangles is 20. And then let's simplify that and put that in simplified form. Divide it by 2, which equals to 3 over 10. So the ratios would be 3 um, with the word uh, 2 to 10, 3 colon 10, and 3 over 10. Um, the last one, comparing the moons and the stars. So there are how many stars? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 stars. 2, how many moons? 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10. I think that I'm counting right. I'm going to double check though. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 moons. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah. Okay. So um, now we're going to put it in... With, we already have it in word form, so I'm just going to rewrite it 13 to 10. Then with a colon, 13, colon, 10, and 13 over 10. Because it can't be simplified, so you leave it like that. The last one is stars to total. So stars are 13. And then the total would be both of the shapes put together. So 13 plus 10 would be 23. So now I'm going to write it as 13 to 23. 13 colon 23 and then 13 over 23. So hopefully if you were checking this that you got them all correct. And um, the last little part is now converting these values into decimals.